Hello, my name is Frank Wang from the University of Michigan, and today we're going to be taking a look at attribute-based encryption. This lab was developed by Anyi Liu and Xingyi Li from the Oakland University, and supported in part by the National Science Foundation, the Michigan Space Grant Consortium, and the Oakland University. Uh, in this slideshow, we are going to look at the learning objectives, the relevant technology, uh, the point system of the lab manual, and go through uh, a demonstration of each type of attribute-based encryption. Uh, we expect that from this lab, you'll be able to describe attribute-based encryption and its two types, uh, ciphertext policy ABE and key policy ABE. You'll be able to compose security policies according to the given scenarios and integrate these security policies into crypto keys, which will be used to decrypt various ciphertexts. Uh, Role-based access control is a type of security that restricts access to a set of data based on a person's role within the organization. Uh, Attribute-based encryption accomplishes this by only allowing users with, with specific attributes access each bit of information. Uh, there are two types of attribute-based encryption we'll be looking at today. The first being ciphertext policy ABE, which is a system where attributes are associated with the users and policies are associated with the ciphertexts. So a user can only decrypt the ciphertext if the user's attributes satisfy the uh, ciphertext policy. In key policy ABE, the policies are associated with the users and the attributes are associated with the ciphertexts. So the user can only decrypt the ciphertexts if the ciphertext attributes satisfy the user's policy. Um, this lab will contain eight deliverables or questions, each worth five points. And now we're going to look at two examples of attribute-based encryption, uh, one of ciphertext policy and one of key policy. Uh, these, um, these examples are also located in your lab manual, sections 4.1 and 5.1. Our first Example is a case study of ciphertext policy ABE, uh, section 4.1. I have a terminal set up here with uh, Open ABE already installed. Um, Open ABE is a um, cryptographic library that uh, has a variety of different uh, ABE algorithms, allowing us to experiment with each one. Um, and uh, in our example, we have uh, three users, Alice, Bob, and Cindy, and each user has an age and a department. And we are looking for the user that uh, belongs to the karate club and has an age younger than 24, which is Cindy. So um, we can begin in our terminal by um, using the command OABE setup to uh, set up the crypto system and use the command uh, dash s to set up a scheme type, which in our case is ciphertext policy or CP and dash p to specify the prefix, which uh, in our example is going to be grizzly. Um, after allocating space to uh, setting up the uh, ABE, we can uh, use uh, OAB keygen to create a um, key for each one of our users, uh, still specifying the scheme type and the prefix. And we can use dash i to um, specify uh, what our attribute list is going to be. So in this case, our attribute list for uh, Alice is an age of 24 and uh, part of the swimming club. And then we can use dash o to output these attributes into uh, Alice key. Uh, once uh, I can do the same for the other two users, uh, Bob and Cindy. Um, so now we have our key set up for each of our three users, and we just need to create a message uh, that only Cindy would be able to read. So in this case, we're going to create a uh, file um, using echo and save that to input.txt. Uh, the file just contains a random set of integers and we can encrypt the file using uh, OAB ENC um, uh, 
and we can encrypt this file to have an age of greater than 24 and part of the karate club. And save this to uh, the input file, input, yeah, input.txt. So the input file we just created would have these attributes and uh, output this to just output.cpav. So now our uh, input.txt has been completely encrypted and uh, we can test whether or not each one of our users can uh, can view this file using OpenAB, uh, OAB DEC. Uh, first, we can test Alice um, using dash K to specify the um, secret key file, um, Alice key dot key, um, and we'll put uh, output.cpab into there and uh, I'll put this to aliceplane.txt. You'll notice an error occurred. Uh, this is because Alice is uh, not older than 24 and not part of the swimming club. So Alice would not be able to decrypt this. Uh, in addition, if I did the same with Bob, Bob also returns an error because Bob is also younger than 24. And doing the same with Cindy would not return an error. Uh, so it, in this case, Cindy uh, was able to output something to cindyplane.txt. And we can read what this is using uh, concatenate. So we can concatenate cindyplane txt to show what's inside and we have our random string of integers from before. Our second example is section 5.1. It's a case study of key policy ABE and um, so in this example we have an employee of Amazon Bob who works from August 1st to 31st and we are trying to test if he can only uh, decrypt emails sent to him from the, in this date range. Uh, so we begin uh, very similarly to ciphertext policy, where we use OAB setup. We just change our uh, scheme type from ciphertext policy, CP to KP, and we'll use a prefix in this case of Amazon. Uh, next, we generate a key slice for Bob, uh, again, using the same command as before, OAB key gen. Uh, in this case, our requirements are to Bob and within the date range, August, 31st to Aug uh, August 1st to August 31st. And uh, we'll set this key gen to output to Bob KP. Um, finally, we're going to uh, encrypt some random emails uh, that we can run against Bob's key, uh, Bob's key slice. Uh, I'm just going to I'll put some random sentence, put in some random emails. Uh, the first email is located to Bob and uh, within the day range, August 10th, 2019, um, with a random text. Our second one is also going to be to Bob, but it would have been sent in 2021, which is way outside of our date range. And our third email is within the date range, August 14th, 2019, but is to Jerry instead of to Bob. So Bob should be able to decrypt to the first one, but not the second or the third. And we can test this with OABE DEC. Um, the key policy in Amazon will uh, take the key type, the key, uh, Bob KP that we set up earlier with his key slice and um, output this to input one underscore plane. And when running this, we see that this was, uh, this did pass and uh, we can concatenate this to view the, um, we can concatenate this to view the message sent to Bob, which was, how do you like Loki? Um, if we attempt to do this with the second or the third email, we should see uh, an error thrown. So with the second one, we find that there is a date mismatch. So the error, so the uh, file is not decrypted. And in the third one, there's a receiver mismatch. So uh, there we have uh, one example of ciphertext policy ABE and one example of key policy ABE.